Around 38% of households in the United States owns dogs. With golden retrievers, German shepherds, and poodles being among the most popular options. It's almost like you can't walk down your local street without seeing one of those breeds. But there are some you might never see. From a dog rarely seen outside of Italy to one of which only fewer than 1,000 exist, here are 20 rarest dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Polish Lowland Sheepdog Polish Lowland Sheepdogs are medium-sized dogs from Poland known for their agility, self-confidence, liveliness, even temper, and perceptiveness. They can weigh up to about 50 pounds, stand at about 20 inches high, and are born in a range of colors like white, gray, black, and brown. As desirable as these dogs are for their cuteness and personality, they're still pretty rare. The average puppy can be between $2,000 and $2,500, depending on where you buy them. Once you own one, prepare to have your hands full. They are working dogs at heart and need plenty of stimulation and exercise to keep them happy and healthy. While you could certainly keep them as apartment dogs, you'd need to load their toy boxes with toys and make frequent trips to dog parks, walking tracks, and fun environments to help them burn off all their pent-up energy. These dogs can also be quite high-maintenance since they have long fur. Regular grooming can be necessary to keep them looking their best, but they don't require any trimming or stripping. It's also worth pointing out that they can be challenging to train and require patience and possibly even an obedience school. But for all your efforts, you'll be rewarded with a loving, friendly, and fearless protector who will be loyal to you till the end of their days. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. Some dog breeds are so rare that even vets haven't seen them. This actually happened to a family. They bought a dog, but when the vet saw it, he called the police. The dog was a hairless breed called a Sholo Squintlite, and they have wrinkles, dental abnormalities, and a primitive temper. The vet was so concerned by how unusual this dog was that he thought it was the result of a terrible, irresponsible breeder, so he called the police. Little did he know, he was just working with a Mexican hairless dog. Do you think a vet that couldn't identify a breed should be reprimanded? Why or why not? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Sky Terrier Sky Terriers are medium-sized dogs from Scotland's Isle of Skye. People used to breed them to hunt foxes, otters, and badgers, but today they're more of a companion breed. Sky Terriers are friendly and enjoy relaxed environments. They can also adapt well to apartment life and only require a small amount of playtime and exercise. You'd go as far as to say they are the ideal first pet owner's dog. So why are these cute little fluff balls so rare? Well, the breed has been popular in Scotland for at least 500 years, but there are now thought to be just 4,000 of them left in the world. According to the BBC, there were just 42 registered with the UK Kennel Club in 2012, compared with upwards of 36,000 Labradors that same year. Some experts seem to think that people have just forgotten about them. At one point, it seemed like everyone knew someone who owned a Sky Terrier. Even Queen Victoria had a bunch of them. Gruesomely, Mary, Queen of Scots, had one underneath her skirt when she was beheaded. These days, people just have so many breed options to choose from, or they're opting for cross-designer breeds, that Sky Terriers have fallen out of favor. But if you ever get the chance to adopt or buy one of these dogs, you'll be pleased you did. They are a well-rounded, lovely little doggo. Number 18. Ibizan Hound the rarer the dog, the more they can cost, which is perhaps why you'd need to shell out at least $1,300 for an Ibizan Hound puppy, and possibly even three times that figure from a top breeder for a show-quality dog. These noble and proud-looking dogs from Ibiza are playful and silly dogs that love to play. They're also incredibly athletic and agile, so if you were to adopt one, you would need to install fences upwards of five feet high. Otherwise, they'll just clear them with ease. 
Ibis and hounds suit homes without other small pets, mainly because they have high prey drives. If they see birds, rabbits, hamsters, or other little critters, it might be the very last time you both see them. They can run at up to 40 miles an hour, so getting them back onto your property would be a near-impossible feat without a vehicle. Perhaps not surprisingly, they were first bred to hunt rabbits, but some sources state they were brought to Ibiza by Phoenician traders around 800 BC. If you're on the fence about buying this rare breed, take comfort in the fact that they are excellent family dogs. Ibiza and hounds are even-tempered, family-oriented, and typically do well with children when socialized and trained from an early age. Number 17. Chirneco del Etna when you're looking for an athletic and high-energy dog breed that doesn't take up much space, see if you can track down a Cirneco del Etna breeder. These independent and good-natured sighthounds from Italy only weigh up to 26 pounds and stand it up to around 19.5 inches at the shoulders. They have short and smooth coats, beautiful tan or chestnut coloring with white on the neck and shoulders, and an incredible temperament. Most Cirnecchi are loyal, sweet, affectionate, and calm. With all these desirable traits, you might think Cirnecchi are common dogs every one would own, but they're not. Ever since they were bred for the first time, they have been primarily found in Italy. Even today, there's only a tiny number of them in the United States. However, those who do choose to track down this rare breed will enjoy having a fast, agile hunting dog who can also be low maintenance and calm for active families with other children. Although, because they're such high-energy dogs, they don't tolerate being left alone for extended periods. They prefer to be with their humans and need around an hour of exercise daily. Number 16. Commander. The Commander is definitely one dog you won't see very often, and if you do see one, you'll be shocked. They're like the animal version of a floor mop. These muscular Hungarian sheepdogs have white corded hair covering their entire bodies. These locks allow them to blend in with the stock that they were bred to work while also helping to protect them from the extreme weather. They can weigh up to 100 pounds, stand at about 25 inches, and are known as affectionate, independent, gentle, and fearless dogs. They certainly tick all the right boxes for families, but they're still rare dogs. The breed was recognized officially by the American Kennel Club in 1937, but the breed was almost extinct by the end of World War II, with just a few dozen dogs remaining. While that number is steadily increasing in Hungary, you're still unlikely to ever meet one in your local area, unless your local area is Hungary. You might assume that's to do with their coat. How on earth are you supposed to groom all those mop-like locks? Well, it's not easy. You can't brush their fur, but experts recommend and washing them regularly with shampoo and squeeze drying them with a towel. If they're left wet, they can smell like mildew, and if they aren't clean, the dirt and debris can make your Commodore smell pretty bad. Number 15. Norwegian Lundhund out of all rare dogs, the Norwegian Lundhund would have to be one of the rarest. They are known as one of the most flexible dogs in the world, being able to bend their head straight back to touch their spine. And they also have six toes on each foot with elongated foot pads on their two rear feet. These features made them particularly desirable for puffin hunting, which explains their name Lundhund, which means puffin dog in Norwegian. Their job was to hunt puffin in the narrow tunnels and caves of Lofton Islands in Norway, which would then be used to supply down feathers and meat to the village. However, these cute, athletic dogs almost went extinct. By the time the 1900s rolled around, people were using nets rather than dogs to catch puffins. Many loonhoons became neglected and started attacking sheep out of hunger, which caused a bounty to be placed on their heads. A combination of dog tax, distemper, and breeding with other breeds meant Norwegian loonhoons were almost gone for good. When dog enthusiasts heard about them, they tracked down 50 to a secluded island. Four were exported, and a distemper outbreak killed off all but one left on the island. Two puppies and two pregnant females were taken back to the island to repopulate it, but they've been teetering on the verge of extinction ever since. Number 14. Moody if you're looking for an all-purpose farm dog, the Moody from Hungary will tick all those boxes. But good luck finding one, since they are so rare. They've been around since the 19th century, but there are no more than about 3,000 worldwide, with just a few in the United States and Canada. 
They are so rare, in fact, that the American Kennel Club doesn't even fully recognize them as a breed because there just aren't enough of them. However, if you do happen to track one down, you'll enjoy having a beautiful and unique dog that's courageous, intelligent, agile, and alert. These traits make them ideal for agility, flyball, and obedience training, while also being a master of cattle and sheep herding. And saying that, their loyalty and protectiveness also make them pretty suitable for active families with the time to dedicate to exercise and stimulation. Moody stand out for their personalities, but their appearance is also quite unique. They can be gray-brown, gray-brown, black, white, and yellow, and they have merle markings making them quite distinctive amongst other dogs. Number 13. Belgian Lacanois Belgian Lacanois might be a dog you've never heard of before, but that doesn't mean they're not worth learning more about. You might even find one and decide they're suitable for your family. These dogs are shepherds from Belgium whose name, Lacanois, comes from the name of the town they originated from, Lacan. Initially, they were bred to work as guard dogs and would protect absolutely everything, from a stock in a paddock to a pair of your favorite shoes at the front door. When World War I and II arrived, they served as messengers and were the bestest doggos you could ever have. During and after the wars, their numbers dwindled. Breeders have worked hard to restore them, but they're still a rare breed. The American Kennel Club didn't even recognize them as a breed until 2020. Belgian Lacanois are intelligent dogs who just want to please you. They are great in families with respectful children and love having a job to do, although they're just as happy relaxing with you after a long and busy day. Before you adopt one, it's worth being aware of their training and grooming requirements. They require ongoing training with positive reinforcement and it helps if the sessions are engaging to keep their focus. They also have rough, coarse coats requiring hand stripping at least once or twice a year and the occasional bath. Number 12. Slugi. The Slugi is one of the rarest dogs in the United States. It wasn't even recognized as a breed by the AKC until 2016, but that doesn't mean it's not worthy of being in your home. This breed is truly something special. The Slugi is an ancient North African hound bred for hunting game like gazelles, foxes, and hares. That much is evident when you see them run because they are incredibly fast, agile, and graceful. Slugi are also quite muscular and can weigh as much as 75 pounds while standing up to 29 inches inches at the shoulders. They have slender faces, dark eyes, long noses, and short coats in various colors like red, tan, black, and brindle. While they can be pretty uncertain of people they don't know, they are loyal and loving dogs who are incredibly gentle with their families. Perhaps one of their most standout features, and one that intrigues many pet owners, is their empathy. If you're feeling sad or having a bad day, your Slugi will be in tune with your emotions and ready to lift your spirits. In saying that, they are by no means easy dogs to train. They are independent and require positive reinforcement. They don't respond well to harshness or anything that resembles a punishment because they are very sensitive. Number 11. Pyrenean Shepherd. Pyrenean Shepherds, also known as Pier Sheps, are rare herding dogs from France. They are distinctive with lean bodies, rough or smooth faces, upright ears, and doe-like almond-shaped eyes. There's one word to adequately describe them. Pure Sheps were bred to guard livestock in the Pyrenees Mountains on Spain and France's border, but they have since become much-loved family pets. They are curious, active, protective, and energetic, but they also have time to give you affection when they're not busy running around and spending time with active people. If you own a Pure Shep, it's best that you don't own any other pets, as they tend to become quite bossy due to their herding traits. Instead of playing with other animals, they love nothing more than heading out with their family and doing fun things like hiking, canine sports, and even advanced training. They have high exercise needs, high energy levels, and high intelligence. However, they can be reasonably challenging to train and also have a high tendency to bark. It's not known why these dogs are so rare, but you'd be unlikely to find one in your local shelter. Number 10. Finnish Spitz Finnish Spitz are quite uncommon dogs from Finland. They are the country's national dog and are an ancient hunting breed that still gets used for hunting game today. They are small, fox-like, and lively and are known to be barkers. In fact, they are such good barkers that barking contests are held in Finland. If your neighbors aren't very tolerant, it's probably not an ideal dog for you. They prefer colder climates, and even though they're small at under 30 pounds, they still need at least 30 minutes of exercise daily to satisfy their average energy levels. They also have moderate social needs, so you probably wouldn't 
have one if you spend a lot of time away from home. In saying that, there are plenty of reasons why you would own this rare breed. They thrive in cold weather environments compared to many other dogs and can even be apartment dogs if you remember to exercise them daily. They are also patient, playful, loyal, and reasonably good with other pets. They definitely do bark when strangers arrive, but these wee cuties are not aggressive. Many people in Scandinavia own Finnish spits, but they aren't all that common in other parts of the world like the United States. Number 9. Sesky Terrier There are fewer than 600 Sesky Terriers in the United States, and it's really hard to see why. I mean, just look at them. They're adorable, they're small, they're sensitive, they're full of energy, but without being over-the-top excitable like many other similar breeds. Sesky Terriers also have beautiful, silky coats and are good working dogs for catching ducks, rabbits, and foxes. However, they're hard work, and if you want to own a small dog because they're easy to care for, they aren't the dog for you. They need quite a lot of exercise to prevent them from becoming obese, and their silky fur also requires quite a lot of care. You don't need to hand strip their coats, but you do need to clipper and cut them every 6 to 10 weeks, depending on where you live. The longer parts of their coat also require weekly combing to get rid of tangles. But if you can handle that administrative work, you're in for a real treat. Sesky Terriers love their human families, dog sports, and playing. They can also be good watchdogs, but it pays to ensure proper socialization from a young age to keep them happy and comfortable in their surroundings. Number 8. Grand Basset Griffon Vandillon if you want to own one of the rarest breeds in the United States, see if you can find a Grand Basset Griffon. These dogs come from France and were used for hunting. While they've been around since the 1860s, they didn't appear in the United States until 1990, and the first litter wasn't born there until four years later. And you might think that their numbers have grown exponentially since then, but they haven't. They remain one of the rarest breeds, with only a few hundred registered with the American Kennel Club. The reasons why any dog is rare aren't always known, and it's perplexing when you learn how loyal and loving Grand Basset Griffon Vendillon can be. They have low maintenance grooming requirements and love being with active families on outdoor adventures. They are also incredibly friendly, however, they do have a few quirks. These dogs can be incredibly stubborn and difficult to train. Pair this with their high energy levels and high exercise requirements, and you have a dog who might run great distances with you before not listening to you when you call them back. They also love chasing prey and the sound of their own voice. Yeah, they're barkers, but just look at how cute they are. You can see why at least a few hundred people in the US have chosen to own them. Number 7. Harrier Harriers, which look like large beagles, are dogs from England bred to hunt fares, foxes, and rabbits. The word harrier likely originates from the Norman word harrier, which means hound. While they are reasonably common in England, they are definitely one of the rarest breeds in the United States. Just 31 puppies in four litters were born in the United States in 1994, and there were only 949 harriers registered by that point. Which is interesting to know when you learn that they were first imported in the 1700s and have had plenty of time to grow their numbers. In contrast, they're pretty popular with hunters in Ireland. There are at least 166 registered packs in a country of under 5 million people. If you're considering owning one, familiarizing yourself with their personality traits is pretty important. They are outgoing, friendly, independent, and a bit stubborn. Training can be quite challenging, and positive reinforcement is necessary. Harriers are also excellent watchdogs and will be the first to let you know if someone's on your property. However, if you're not home a lot, they won't be the best dog for you. They have quite a lot of energy they need to burn, otherwise they can be quite destructive. Number 6. Canaan Dog the Canaan dog from the Middle East is the national dog of Israel, whose natural habitat is the desert. While most Canaan dogs are domesticated, there are still packs of them in the wild, which is crazy when you think about it. Could you imagine finding packs of Labradors in the wild? That's absurd. The Canaan dog, also known as the Bedouin Sheepdog, has lived with humans for at least 2,000 years and is often used to herd and guard livestock. However, we didn't make too many attempts to domesticate them until the 20th century, when breeding programs were established in Israel in the 1930s. They have a rugged appearance, double short coat, and are white with red, black, or brown patches. They also have bushy, curled tails and are known for their speed. 
they can cover vast amounts of ground quite quickly. Their strong sense of smell and intelligence have made them popular for tracking, guarding, and herding. But they've also been used to locate landmines in search and rescue operations and even as therapy dogs. They're an all-around good doggo. But as versatile and ideal as they are, they are still rare. There are only around 1,600 of them in the world, and they rank at 150 out of 155 breeds by the American Kennel Club. Number 5. Azawak If you owned an Azawak and it saw a cat, you would never be able to catch up to it. These elegant and fast sighthounds would be off like a rocket and you'd need a vehicle just to get a glimpse of them. Azawak are quiet and aloof dogs from Africa's Sahel region. Here, they would travel the desert with their nomadic owners, guarding their tents and providing protection. They are complex, unusual, and protective, but there's no denying their loyalty, that's for sure. They can be so loyal that rehoming as a wax is difficult. They bond to their owners and become incredibly attached, making it hard to transition to a new owner. If you want to own this rare breed, you must be prepared to have them for their entire life. In every way possible, they are built for speed. They have short fur, thin skin stretched over a muscular and bony frame, and a strong prey drive. They can look quite skinny even when well fed, making some people think Azawak owners are underfeeding them. It's nearly impossible to find Azawak in the United States, and they're typically not a first time owner type of pet. Number 4 Otter Hound if you were to ever spot an otter hound in your neighborhood, that'd be like seeing a rare diamond. They are among the rarest dogs in the world, to the point where most otter hound owners keep in touch with each other, and the death of one causes widespread mourning. In 2018, just 24 puppies were registered in Great Britain, and the following year there were just two successful litters with 12 puppies in the United States. It's believed there are a mere 600 otter hounds in the world, and just two years ago there were 900. These beautiful, loving dogs have a rich history dating back to the 12th century, with King John of England using them to hunt otters. They were also kept at monasteries, churches, and large homes to keep otters away from fish stock in bodies of water. In the late 19th 1970s, otter hunts were banned in England, and otter hounds were blamed for the otters' plummeting numbers. It's believed this might have contributed to the breed falling out of favor, although it's thought that poisons and nitrates leaching into rivers were to blame for otter deaths, not the dogs, but the damage was already done. When the ban was put in place, well-established otter hound packs were split up, with some dogs going to family homes and others joining mink hunting packs. Number 3. Legotto Romagnolo if you have 5,000 bucks to spare, you might just be able to get your hands on a Legotto Romagnolo, and that's if you can find a puppy. This cute working dog from northern Italy with woolen, curly fur is as rare as they come, and they're definitely more common in their home country of Italy than anywhere in the United States. Legotto Romagnolos are ancient working dogs renowned for their hunting and truffle finding skills. However, they also make affectionate family dogs. They have water resistant thick coats, are excellent swimmers and have friendly personalities that make them ideal for family homes and active owners. They are also loyal, intelligent, and hypoallergenic. They are pretty much the total package. Initially, they were bred for duck hunting and still serve this purpose today. However, many people buy them to be family pets first and duck hunters second. They are believed to be the oldest of all water dogs, which makes sense when you learn that their name, Legoto, means duck dog in the local dialect of northeast Italy's Romagna region. Adopting Legoto Romagnolos is quite the process due to their rarity. You might have the best luck by contacting the Legoto Romagnolo Club of America with puppies costing from $1,800 to $5,000 depending on your location. Number 2. Bedlington Terrier if you're looking for a dog that'll get heads turning, the Bedlington Terrier might be for you. This unique looking dog is more sheep than dog and stands out for its white woolly fur, fuzzy head, and graceful posture. Interestingly, Bedlington Terriers were most often the companions of poor people in England and they were known to be excellent rat and hare catchers. And while they certainly are adept hunters, they make ideal family pets. They are tender, pleasant, and calm and even love playing with children. However, it can be pretty 
challenging to get past their hunting instincts. If they become agitated, it can sometimes take a lot of effort to get them to calm down. They are an ideal breed if you have plenty of time to give to a dog. They love to play and will be suitable for agility, jogging, swimming, and other fun events. They also bond with one person but will adapt to family life quite well too. Number 1. English Foxhound while English foxhounds were once bred for the sole purpose of hunting foxes in England, they are now a much-loved family pet and sometimes compete in performance trials. But while many people love having them as pets, they're a rare breed in the United States and most parts of the world because they're simply not a preferred companion dog. They have exceptional stamina, which means they need plenty of exercise. However, if you decided to take one jogging, their nose might take them off in another direction. They have excellent scent abilities, which means that their desire to go after something they like the smell of is often stronger than wanting to be by your side. They also don't suit apartment living and need a fair, consistent, and assertive owner. They also love being part of a pack and might be less bored and destructive if you have other dogs. This complex dog is definitely lovable, but I can see many reasons why not many families are lining up to own them. There's nothing wrong with owning a common breed like a retriever, but you can also see why people own rare breeds. Some of them look incredible. Have you seen or owned any of these rare breeds? What were they like? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.